Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Get Daved. Well, last time we had a truly bizarre scene meeting Gao's father. If I could do it all again, I would probably recommend doing it later in the game. I think there was some missing dialogue, because I don't have all the party members back quite yet. So, I've never actually done it that early, so... I'm going to recommend you try that. Uh, I've already made a wrong turn, so let's fix that. Dang it. Well, let's see how we do against these guys again. Also, I'm mildly surprised in myself. I still have Gao along for the ride. Well, I guess that's no big deal, but I'm not a huge fan of his. And then he goes ahead and does something awesome right then. Well, he can stay for now. Okay, we're gonna take the secret entrance into Narsh. Yeah, there's other ways we could, you know, get to the point in question. Get to the point to the point no faking. Slicing MCs like a pound of bacon. Ten points. Um, but honestly, I think the secret exit is probably the most direct. Level up for Sellas. Did I bother to give her a good Esper configuration? Oh, Bahamut. Not bad. If it's good enough for Gao. So we'll sneak in the back. Excuse me. <clears throat> ah, Meg Rotors. You'll recall I talked a whole bunch about these guys way back in the day. They're here. Are you excited? Are you not entertained? Yeah, they're pretty great. And I think we head around this way. Narsh is kind of confusing, but uh, typically most wrong paths end up in a dead end right away, so you got that going for you. And onward. Yeah, this is looking good. Oh, wizards! You'll fight a lot of these guys. They have Osmos, but it's not going to cause you any trouble unless they've already used some magic, so don't worry about it. Be my guest, it wears off at the end of the fight. One. And they're not particularly strong. They have really low defense, too. The enemies in Narsh aren't that tough, actually. You can come here pretty much whenever you want. Although it would be good if you had a little bit of defense piercing firepower on your side. Man, you missed quite the curb stomping from Sabin there. Alright, this is the path we would have reached if we, uh went via Arvis's house. And there's some Psycots, so let's check them out, everybody. They're not very strong. Decent defense, though. Honestly, I don't think any of them have any attacks you should really worry about. Yep. He's dead, Jim. down here, and if you go out the back, you may remember this from Terra's scenario way earlier in the game. This is from the first video, I think, where we did a group defense with the Moogles. Alright, make sure you have Locke when you come find Mog, otherwise he's, you know, stuck here. I think. I'm not actually sure about that. If you know for sure, maybe verify in the comments section. Alright, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but... Alright. Sasquatch muscle in the mines, bring Mog. And if you look where he was standing, there's a Moogle charm. It is not there in the world of balance. And... We could keep going because there's something else to do in Narsh, but unfortunately we require Mog, so 
I mean, it's not the end of the world. So we gotta do a spinorama. Get on the airship, find me a mogul. Come here, you. Alright. Gonna keep bringing Locke around, because he's gonna be the first one to learn Fire 3. Cells is currently decursing a cursed shield of mine. And I seem to recall having some good reason for keeping Saban around, so... Oh, that was so he could... Yeah. I'm actually gonna change out Saban for Edgar. And I'm just gonna off-screen the party configuration stuff. Alright everybody, I'm back, but I've discovered a problem I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix. You know, Mog. We have no weapons he can use. I don't have any pikes on hand. But what we do have is a strata, which is a pretty good weapon for Cyan, but conveniently, it's easy to get more of them. You can bet a Murasami to get an aura, which you can bet to get a strata. So, what we're doing is heading to the good old, you know, place we're at. <laughs> My mind's crapping out on me in the middle of a video, and it's hilarious! Uh, I'm gonna deck out Salas for some uh, you know, real combat in the Colosseum. White cape is good, but maybe black belt. Yeah, that might be a good configuration. Gonna use the old state save, and we're gonna bet the Strato. Because that can get you a Pearl Lance relatively easily. Oh, yeah, this could be a tough fight. And let's watch how helplessly is... Oh, no. Oh, good. Ragnarok randomly casts Flare, which is a nice perk. That could shorten this fight considerably. Yep. Well, everybody, we did it. Now we've got an awesome weapon for Mog or Edgar. Look at that. Battle power is up to 210. Well, hope you had your fun, Cells. Back to the Cursed Shield for you. Alright, now that Mog can actually fight... And again, like, you can go to, I believe, Jador sells uh, a Partisan. And you can, I think, steal them uh, from some enemies. But, uh, you know, it's just not that good, and it's so easy to get a Pearl Lance, and at no real cost to yourself. You know, why not? Okay. Now, if memory serves, we're going straight up the gut. More of this, hey? And I'm gonna be heading into the mines. Ah, uh, I don't know. You've seen me walking through Narsh so much already, I'm tempted to cut some of this out. And onward. I guess I haven't shown you a g getting all the way through the mines again, so... Might as well. And in... You'll remember this from the very, very beginning of the game. Well, maybe you will, I don't know. But hang a right. Curl around. It's actually a, essentially a one-way path now. Down yonder. Uh, I could also put the Moogle Charm on Mog and then put him in the front of the party. That would mean no random encounters. I guess I could do that. But I'm not going to. Because the fights are easy, and might as well get some work done on the Cursed Shield. Probably about 235 battles to go. So for the record, I just fought a test rider. You can steal a partisan from them, as I suspected, but... And you know, it's pretty good, so... If for some reason you don't have a strato on hand to bet, or... I don't know. You can do that as a backup. It beats buying them. They're pretty expensive, I think. In the 15,000-ish range. Alright. Oh, good. Well, you know what? Let's show this fight, because Mog's about to learn a new dance! Everybody likes dancing. I wonder... Eh, you know what. Disappointingly low damage on the Psychot, but they, you know, they have pretty good defense. 
They can't all have awesome defense-piercing weapons like Locke. Master to new dance. There you go, everybody. And I'm just going to change up the espers because we're on the brink of fighting, you know, a dragon. Might as well have uh, some equipment set up so that we can make take advantage of all the uh, free MP we're going to get. Locke's got the ice shield on. That's good. Fire shield I don't really recommend. Uh, against the ice dragon. Go figure. Because he does have a, a water attack or two, I believe. I'm not 100% certain on that one, but I don't want to get surprised, so... Yeah, we should be good. Let's take it on. Locke doesn't quite have cure, er, fire 3 yet, which is a mild inconvenience. Log doesn't have a fire attack. This is a problem. Well, I guess we're gonna have Sela's on thawing duty. Terrible waste of the Ragnarok, but whatever. And I don't think you've seen me summon Ifrit, so let's go for it. Probably could have done something about, uh... Edgar's situation. As a matter of fact, it's probably not too late. Which is good, because he's going to die at this rate. no one freezes. Oh my. Well. Yeah, of course it works really well on Sellas. We have to wait for somebody to thaw now. This is the one I thought might be water-based, so... Yeah, it's pretty good LP. Oh no, he's gonna freeze us again. See, this is kind of annoying because there's that uh, clock ticking on Sellas too, so... Really, as soon as one of them thaws me, yeah, that'd just be great. Okay, here we go be the best thing to do. So I can kill this punk. Melt my entire party, even if it only buys us a second. Well, it was nice knowing you, Edgar. My goodness, what a train wreck. Okay, screw Edgar, he's gonna be fine. I take it back, actually. As soon as Sellas gets doomed here, we're gonna have a little bit of a hard time keeping everybody alive. Although Locke and Mog have a lot more, you know, livability in this fight. Thank you, Ice Shield. This is probably a pretty stupid way of going about reviving my characters. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna take a brief moment to see if I have any better shield here. Okay. You know what, let's friggin' go for it. Flame shield. Why not? Seriously. Let's go down the menu one more time. Everybody loves this sound. Just 
kind of fun to let you guys see a dragon give me a little bit more crap than the last one did. The one against the red dragon went unusually well. Yeah, there we go. And everybody gets magic points at the end. Oh good, Mogler and Fire. <laughs> and Lockler and Fire 3. Well, that was delightful. It's okay, we'll need Fire 3 momentarily. Wow. Locke was one magic point away from knowing Fire 3 in the last battle. He added at 99%. I can prove that using math. Alright, further in. Oh my goodness, the encounter rate. You'll remember this from where we faced off against Lone Wolf and got Mog for the first time. And a Frozen Esper. Source of many, many problems. Uh, I'm going to take care of this guy right now. If you have any defense piercing attacks or weapons, I strongly encourage you to bring them into this fight. And everyone should know Osmos. Like, I'm not sure what Mog's gonna contribute. Maybe hit points. Actually, I'll show an attack here. Just to give you a point of reference. So, Solus has the Ragnarok on. It's pretty strong. 23 damage, though. It's a solid block of ice. I think his defense is 254. Meaning, less than 1% of your damage is getting through. But, there are some alternatives. Should have brought Terra along. Should tear this guy a new one. I have no idea how this is going to work. Yeah, it's about what I expected. Wind attack on a block of ice. Yeah, Tritok really likes to leech your MP away, so you're going to have to draw it back. I'm not sure if you can kill him by getting rid of all of his MP. It's entirely possible though, he's an Esper. That works on some enemies. Okay, I think I'm just gonna nuke him with Fire 3 on with Lock, and then everybody else can find some other solution. Once we get our MP back! Thanks, Mog. Should have done the mountain dance. And honestly, we're about to drop a fire three on him, so we're probably getting pretty close here. There we go. Got fired, no big deal. If you don't, oh, this battle can go on for a while. Cure 3 and life 2 for Locke. I feel bad for this Esper. Sleep since the War of the Magi and he wakes up and it's exactly the same as when he went to sleep. Try talk with an exclamation point. Alright, now we're heading back here and it's a good thing we've got Mog with us. For the record, Try Talk is awesome. Only way to learn Bolt 3 and Ice 3. Uh, you can learn Fire 3 from it too, of course, but Phoenix is always faster, and you pretty much want everyone to like, Phoenix has is the only way to get Life 2 and Cure 3. And Life er, life 2 and 3, pardon me. Cure 3 you can get from Starlet, but half as fast. So, overall, great Esper. Probably going to put it on cells in one fight. Yeah, I'll hold on to it for one battle. Or will I? 
I'll hold on to it for never. And in the next video, I'm gonna go in here and, uh, well, you'll see what happens when we get there.